Okay, hello everyone, my name is Laquan Williams, and today in this video I'm going to be doing my review for Legends of Tomorrow's Season 7, Episode 9 um, review, and the episode aired on the 19th of January 2022, and that was a couple days ago, this is now January 21st, 2022. Essentially, what happened is that the Legends of Tomorrow, the Legends, ended up back at the um, pocket dimension of John Constantine's house, where they are obviously in the lower levels of hell, so they're obviously in hell. They can't move out of there and leave until um, Gideon is able to get them out of there and teleport them or transport them out of there with the use of, obviously, um, Dr. Gwen Davis, or Gwen Davies, his um, time machine that they have, since they obviously don't have the Wave Rider anymore, which is their ship that they lived on, slash time traveling machine, because it was blown up by Bishop, obviously, um, and uh, because of that, um, an evil Gideon, another version of her, um, Bishop's dead, this um, regular nice version of him's dead, uh, in this episode, Gwen Davies, um, Dr. Gwen Davies suggested that they go back to save him, We leave, that they leave no man behind, but they obviously couldn't do anything because he got shot in the head, he's dead. Uh, by the evil versions of them, the cyborg versions of the legends that were sent out by um, Evil Gideon, obviously, um, uh, say Bishop as well in the future to take them down. Um, and, and also, they're chasing them throughout the past. They haven't fought yet, but they'll probably save that for the last couple episodes of this season. There's 13 episodes in total. Next week will be 10, so there's only a couple episodes left this season. I don't know if this will be the last season. Uh, I'm not one would be surprised if it isn't. It could be, but they're, it's looking like there might be one more season left. They're going to really, um, uh, what's the word, um, scrape up just one more final season and finally put the show to rest. And I actually won't be upset. I'm, the show is not fun anymore. It's it's not funny. The jokes are corny. It's boring. It's not entertaining. I've been saying this for years now, and I'm not going to keep saying it. I'm still reviewing it because just like with most shows that I watch for years, even if I don't like them after a while, I still watch them until the end because I want to see how the show ends until it's canceled. That even happened a couple of se seasons with the Green Arrow. I'm like, I'm still going to keep watching the whole show until it's over. I'm not going to skip any episodes or skip a whole season, even with The Flash. I watch the shows until they're over. So I don't have to worry about... Uh, jumping back into the show a year or two later and have, having to binge watch all these episodes, you know, so I, that's why I, I just keep watching them. But the show's obviously over. I've been watching the show for, since the first season, along with um, Black Lightning and uh, obviously, um, well, actually, that's been Superman Lois, which is in its second uh, uh, season. I started watching The Flash and Green Arrow around their, th uh, well, The Flash around the second season. Um, Green Arrow around its um, third, actually. I, I saw the end of the third season on TV. Then I went back on Netflix and started binge watching the show. Did you catch up with it? Um, and that's basically what happened. The Flash was, I started watching a show at the end of the first season when um, I think it was the first when B Barry Allen and the whole entire team found out that Dr. Harrison Wells was evil and he was obviously the reverse Flash. That's actually the first episode I saw on TV. So then after that, I started watching the shows, obviously on the CW TV network after that, because I was watching them on TV. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. This is cool. Um, and I, I was already watching Green Arrow, so barely. So then I could jump into the Flash and I've been watching them all for the last seven, eight years now. Um, but Legends of Tomorrow used to be fun. It, the first set season was great, and the first couple of seasons actually. But the show has gone downhill. It's not been fun and very entertained. They're focused way more on jokes and comedy. They're basically the DC version of the um, Guardians of the Galaxy: stoner jokes, um, burping, drinking, alcohol, fighting. Uh, everybody's in relationships. It's just the same thing. It's just it's like a drama filled show. And in this episode, they are actually in a reality show in hell that they are not allowed to control because the um, the crew that there is there that's filming them are, are ghosts and they're haunting the place because they sold their soul to a demon who is watching actually the Legends of Tomorrow on TV in his uh, in hell. And Azra went back to hell to, to confront him when with Bayrod, who didn't she didn't even know he was there. He was following her, and they almost got killed by this demon. But they got zapped and backed into the. Um, the house and he put them back there because he's obviously a demon very powerful he has his own powers um and that's what's been happening so basically um the whole entire team is attacking each other and arguing uh, because of this the show keeps going on and on until they actually don't argue with each other they're actually it's like a spell kind of like obviously they're able to escape from the spell um and the the crew that, that sold their soul to this demon that this reality TV crew sold their soul to this demon, they would actually go finally their spirits would be laid to rest. So they did at the end of the episode. Uh, so that everybody's just attacking each other. Um, there was nothing to show about these cyborg versions of them. Um, Gideon was um, 
explain to them that they that because um uh she was under under stress and duress that she teleported them to, there to the hell to hell basically the um the pocket dimension of uh the um obviously John Constantine's house so there was basically nothing about this episode that was happening it was just them doing a reality TV show in hell and they were stuck there they didn't go on anywhere. And they were just arguing for the whole episode until the end. Everybody just obviously made up after Bayrod had a big speech slash rant and he saved everybody and he, he spilled his uh, feelings and emotions out. And that's what basically happened. So basically this was a filler episode is what people call where the episode really doesn't have nothing to do with uh, the rest of the season for any show that's on. And you can see that with any show. If like like last year, um, Barry Allen in the flat and on the flash, him and Iris went on vacation and the whole team was fighting with, um, uh, uh, I forgot her name, uh, Vi uh, Ultraviolet, and obviously her, her uh, um, Esperanza, and obviously Ultraviolet um, on there, and her cousin died, obviously. Um, I forgot her name. I think this was her name, but anyways, they, that, that had nothing to do with the whole storyline. It was just random. She asked her for help and to take down Black Hole, and obviously she got killed in the end, so it was just like that. It had nothing to do with actually the, the storyline with the uh, rest of the season. It was just a filler episode. So that's why Barry Allen and Iris were on vacation because it wasn't important. So that's why they, they, they made that to the storyline. But this is the same thing. Nothing that nothing happened. They were in the house the whole entire time. The only people that moved out of the house physically were Azra and um, Bayrod because she went to hell. And she walked into the, the obviously, the door uh, to get there. He followed her. I don't know how he was able to get past everybody and not get hurt, but he did, obviously. The demon that caught them, obviously, with his guards at the front desk, um, brought him in, kind of roughed him up a little bit, but he was fine. But anyways, that's basically it. Uh, there was nothing else that happened in this episode. Um, it, was, it was right here. On, it's called the lowest common denominator. Um, it's it's, uh, it's uh, What they're saying here on Den of Geek dot com is that the, this is an impressive feat that the show can pull us uh, off to screw around and laugh at itself and everything for us for 45 minutes they hand it over to the character with the least screen time and who was one of the least developed of the regular cast which is bayrod to basically um save the show um yeah it's um yeah they're saying it's cartoonish yet yeah, it is it's not fun anymore they had um uh, nate acting like the situation from the jersey shore um they gave the rating on this show a four out of five. I, I totally disagree with that, but that's their opinion. They can do that, but I'm a, it's not fun at all. I would like to see what the comments are actually uh, saying, the people here in the comments section, but it's not fun anymore. Um, yeah, um, it says, um, it says uh, this person says this, this show keeps getting, keeps moving from strength to strength, kind of a weird uh, statement. While other CW long runners are, let's face it, sputtering, the only one that I don't know why he's talking about that because the only long running CW show besides Legends of Tomorrow is The Flash. Every all the other shows on the network are only in their second or third season, which are Naomi uh, first season Naomi, a uh, second season Superman Lois, uh, Star Girl is about to be in this starting its third season. Batwoman is in its third, so I don't know what he's talking about. That the only long running show besides The Flash is Legends of Tomorrow. Those are only two long running shows on the CW, which are on their eighth and ninth episode season. Excuse me. Uh, this is a uh, this is their um, seventh season. The, the Flash is on its eighth. Um, I thought Gwen Davis was going to encounter John Constantine. That's that's not going to happen. John Constantine's done. Um, yeah. So the main cast. The, uh, um, uh, I liked how that got it was. Um, see, maybe he even uh, cast the characters. Uh, so basically, nothing really here. Um, in the comment section, but if you're me, like me, you're just watching a show, it's, it's not fun or entertaining anymore, but we'll see what happens when the show is almost over. Uh, if, if they, they will get the last season of legends of tomorrow, it's just ran its course. Um, I don't know what these people are saying. Um, this used to be a great show. Like the first two seasons it was three seasons were great. The villains were entertaining. They, we had, um, Damien dark. You had Va uh, Vandal Savage. You had Neron. You had, um, I forgot the other villains that they've had on the show. They've had a lot of uh, Neron, Vandal Savage, uh, obviously. Um, they've had, I forgot the other villains, but they were all great. Um, very scary, obviously very intimidating, and they were very serious. Bishop obviously has not been, even the Time um, Bureau, they were obviously bad guys to a certain degree, and they were trying to stop the legends to a certain, obviously, extent. But um, uh, I think, did they encounter Grodd, I think, one time? I think they kind of did. But um, I think possibly King Shark, but I'm trying to remember because there's a, some crossover episodes. But um, there really hasn't been that much of a, uh, a big, huge, um, I would say, um, 
development with the villains for the past couple of two seasons with obviously um Bishop being the villain um there it just hasn't been very fun or entertaining like I said it's just you know comedy basically there's nothing very serious going on here but we will see what happens when the show is obviously going to see this season will be over will there be a, a last season being announced next uh, the end of this year 2022 and more than likely if it is it will probably be either eight to ten episodes long, which I've mentioned before, because every single season, if you have not noticed, has been less episodes in total. Last se- season was 15. This year it's 13. I can't remember how many episodes were in season six. I think it was f- probably 15 as well. But like I said, um, it all really depends, obviously, on um, how the ratings are. But actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter because... Um, the show is still going to stay on either way. Um, there's no, you know, CW, the CW TV network doesn't care about ratings. So I'm looking right now, the episode uh, total for season five was 14 with one special episode. Season five was about, um, season five was actually, I can't see season, season, um, season um, six was uh, 15. Season five was, um, 14 so season five was 14 season six season uh, season six was um 15 no okay so yeah season six was 15 season five was 14 plus one special and right now in, in season seven it is at um 13 episodes so that's basically what's been happening this sh- like i said the show's gone off the rails but um, uh, even though that's the case, um, there's still um, there's still obviously hope that maybe like when they have the next couple of episodes, obviously um, seasons, obviously um, they can um pick that up. So I'm looking at the list of villains who I've missed out over the years that actually were way better than Bishop. I'm just gonna give you some: Captain Cold, Vandal Savage, um, Eobard Thawne, who is a Reverse Flash, Neuron, who is a Demon, the Anti Monitor. Damian Dark, Malcolm Merlin, Nora Dark, his daughter, Zoom. Zoom was an Evolver Savitar, Killer Frost, Kronos. Um, oh, Kuesa. Yeah, she was very dangerous. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see. Um, there's been a couple, but I'm just going to look right now. Um, so, yeah, Vandal Savage, Legion of Doom. So, it's been very entertaining. Um. Uh, what's weird is on screen rant is that they have Gary on here as a villain, which obviously doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the Time Masters, they were actually very, very, very dangerous because they knew everything about time and they were tracking legends and they could do everything. They sent their uh, bounty hunter to go after them. He was a big, huge guy in a whole silver bionic um, robotic suit. Reverse Flash, Damien Dark, um, Neuron, O'Malis, big, huge demon, looked like the devil. He was very scary. Neuron. Also a demon. Oh, the sisters of fate, the fate sis, the sisters of fate. They were also very dangerous. They were uh, two seasons ago. They were very dangerous because they knew how to screw up time and they weave the timelines together so they can screw up the legends. Uh, very. They did it obviously to hurt them pretty badly. That was a big huge fight. It was fun seeing them fight them. See that after the the sisters of fate a couple of seasons ago it's been downhill it's been bishop for the last two seasons as the main villain so you kind of know the show is not really taking itself seriously and the writers really don't care if you're using the same villain for two seasons in a row so obviously and then you're changing him from good guy to bad guy and it's just a whole big huge uh, mess mess huge mess obviously so that's basically it that's been my review um we'll see what happens with the rest of the show uh season um concludes um like i said i don't know if there are any, any crossovers will happen Again, possibly in the, in the next season, uh, which will be the last, if they'll have their characters from the shows coming back on, which they kind of did this season for like a, a, a just like one a couple episodes. People obviously who are gone and never came back. I also forgot to mention, in case you did not see the 100th episode of Legends of Tomorrow, when they had the reunion episode, everybody was that was on there. The only, there was four people missing: Moana, Vixen, um, also um, Hawk Girl was missing, and I think that's it. That was Hawk Girl, Moana, um, Vixen. I can't remember who else was missing. There were some other characters that were not there. It was Hawk Girl, um, Moana. They were all female, like female characters. Yeah, 
I can't remember all of their names, but um, yeah, Hawkgirl, Moana, um, Vixen. I think that was it. There was one more. I can't remember who, um, but th- all three of them were missing. And also, um, um, Heat Wave was missing. They had somebody playing Mick Rory, a.k.a. the, the real actor's name is Dominique Purcell, but he wasn't actually physically shown. It was a guy laying down bald who we assumed was him, but he was obviously gone off the show because his contract was up because he decided to leave. He could have stayed, but he decided to leave. So that's obviously his choice and that's what he wanted to do. But those three characters are missing. So it was Moana, Vixen, and obviously Hawker. I'm trying to remember if there was one more, but I obviously can't remember. Um, but that was basically it. Um, and live, oh, uh, yeah, that was it. So we'll see what happens on the rest of the show. And obviously what concludes, obviously, when the um, next season, obviously, in the end of this season, if they actually ever bring Bishop back. And what we saw a couple of weeks ago is that Nate's going to be gone off the show right here. And Bishop's going to be taking his place, the good version of him, which I guess they're going to pull from another timeline because that guy just got shot and he's dead. So they're going to get another version of him that's good and just bring him into the show. And Bishop will be taking Nate's place, obviously, which will be very weird. And I hope that does not happen. But if it does happen... Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that, obviously, unfortunately, as fans and viewers of the show, except watch and just, unfortunately, just um, sit through it, because obviously, you can stop watching if you want to, but like I said, I just want to see the end of this already and just get this over with, like, I'm, I've been like, I've, just, I, I've been like, because obviously the last couple of seasons, like, besides this and like now Black Lightning being gone, or Flash being gone, there's not that much on the CWTV network besides Superman and Lois, these two shows, The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow only have one season left respectfully they've been on for eight nine years now this is their seventh season they will get an eighth one it'll be over which will total about 122 episodes in total for the whole entire show and the flash will be gone after next season uh their next season which will be their ninth and that'll be it obviously and besides superman lois there's nothing on the network that is interesting to me at all because black lightning's gone the green arrow's gone uh besides superman lois there's nothing else i want to watch on the network so that's basically it um yeah so that's basically it we'll see what happens like i said uh, this is this this is what the, this is what the cwtv network has been doing for years now i don't know why but that's what they've been doing and it's just very unfortunate but that's the case and we'll see what happens obviously yeah. um as the um the show is almost over obviously but well, that's the end of my video and that's all i have to say about this as far as my review goes thank you again for watching and that's all i have to say about this let me know what you think think down below in the comment section if you have not watched the episode if you stopped watching the show recently um months ago maybe even possibly years let me know what you have to think about this again Thank you again for watching, and that's all I have to say about this again. Thanks, and goodbye.